Hello and a very warm welcome back to episode 10, Griffin, Indiana, with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello folks and welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. So, you're joining us, it's pretty wet and horrible, um, but what we need to do, uh, we just need to head over to the pastures over here because uh, I brought back the pig food from uh, Mary's farm, but I forgot it's just been left out, so I need to go and put it under cover. So we'll put it in the sheds over here uh, and just get it out of the way. As you can see, we are on the first day of early summer, so yeah, time's ticked on a little bit, and yeah, we've done a load of contracting, so that means that we're sitting pretty pr pretty good with money. So what I'm going to do today is pay off a chunk of the loan. I'm also due to pay the co-op as well. We'll need to pay them their money, which is uh, fifteen thousand uh, dollars, and yeah I think hopefully that should keep us right um, I can't really do much farming today because it's so wet uh, which is a bit of a pain um, but never mind so I'll just get this reversed in here Put that there for now and we'll just head back to the main farm so on the back of last last episode and we were talking about uh, Sasquatch hunting I've decided I'm going to go out I've ordered myself a set of night vision goggles uh, yes I have and uh, yeah uh, and yeah hopefully we'll we're gonna just go around the local woods tonight uh, it's meant to stop raining just after six uh, after I think after seven and um, so hopefully it'll stop raining soon uh, and then we're going to go out for a bit of an explore tonight and see if we can find Bigfoot um, and then tomorrow hopefully the weather will clear up a little bit and we'll be able to get some more work done as it stands if we look on here there's quite a few contracts available at the moment one that caught my eye was a bailing contract there's a couple of bailing contracts but this one's 21,000 up on field 34 
Um, so what we might do with that is I'm tempted to get some more grass equipment. So tempted to get a bigger baler, tempted to get a bigger or a, a bale wrapper. Uh, and I'm looking to probably trade in or get a bigger sort of flatbed trailer, transport trailer uh, for carrying bales, pallets, uh, machinery, whatever I need to, uh, which will fit to that. Uh, so I think those are the three purchases we will make this episode. What I need to do though is, as part of my rules, uh, I need to go on to this one, wherever it is. Now, as part of my rules, you can see in the description, um, every season my economy difficulty is going to change. Um, so in addition to the prices fluctuating throughout the year, so is the difficulty. So I'm going to shut my eyes and just start scrolling. And stop. Oh, we're on hard. Great. Okay, so for the summer we're going to be on a hard difficulty, which is going to be fun. Right, the other thing I need to do is pay off some of the loan. So if we go down to here, loan interest been gradually growing going down. So I'm going to repay 65,000. There we go. So we're down to 200,000 at last. Uh, so we're getting that. And then, yeah, what I will do is I will wire across uh, the 15,000 to the co-op this evening uh, before we go out Sasquatch hunting. So, yeah, I can't really do much just now. Uh, my night vision goggles are in the house. Uh, ordered them from mantra.com. Um, so, yeah, they're ready to go. Uh, and, yeah, I've got my flashlight. So, hopefully... Yeah, we'll get a picture or two. Um, yeah, I'm quite scared actually, a bit nervous, but hopefully, hopefully we won't get too scared. We will see what happens. The other thing I was thinking about was, uh, yeah, maybe selling the Massey 135 and getting a different tractor. Um, I, I love it, uh, but I have used it on my little, little Let's Play, and. There is a new tractor that's just come out, uh, which would fit this map really, really well, I think. Uh, and yeah, yeah, potentially, but maybe not this episode. Right, we will see you in a little bit. Uh, when I see you, I'll be after dinner. I'll have some dinner, and then yeah, we'll uh, go out into the forest around here and see if we can find anything. Right, we'll see you in a little bit. I'll go and get some dinner and hopefully it'll stop raining. Okay, so it's finally got dark and yeah, um, I won't lie to you, I'm fairly nervous, a bit scared of this. Uh, I've put the lights on, <laughs> put the lights on over in the shed there, just for a bit of security. Uh, as you can see, my money's gone down a bit, I've, uh, I've paid off the I've wired across the money to the corp. So, right, let's let's go for this. Like I said, yeah, I'm a bit nervous of what we might find. So, I think the path into the woods is down here somewhere. You can find it. Can't find it. Aha, here it is. Right. Alright, we'll just take a time. Alright, which way shall I go? Maybe go this way. Just test the night vision goggles. Oh wow. actually see quite a lot. Alright, just turn them off just now. It is pitch black. <laughs> right, quite scared. Right, okay. What's that noise? What? 
this is weird. Right, let's just keep going. No. Oh. I keep hearing noises. This is really, really quite scary. Right? Did you hear that? Came from down here. Right. Let's keep going. We'll just follow this stream. some night vision goggles <laughs> uh, that's a bit better you see so much further with these on what what was that noise I could definitely hear something you see that? <laughs> What's that noise? Oh my goodness. Try and get a quick photo. Oh, right. Let's go. Oh. Right, let's keep going. I'm just, I'm just gonna get out of this forest. Ah, ah, oh, oh, that's, oh, that's one of our fields. Right. Oh, 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 that was so scary. Right. I think I got a picture. Uh, we'll have to I'll have to check when I get back. While I'm getting. S oh man, that was horrific. Oh. Right. Ah oh man, I need to get back to the house. Right. I'm going to get a stiff drink and I will see you in the morning. Right. I'm going to leave the lights on. Right, see you tomorrow. Ah, good morning folks. So... That was a pretty freaky evening, wasn't it? <laughs> I've had a bit of chance to reflect. I had a, I did have a look at the photos uh, when I got back, and yeah, one of one of the pictures came out okay. Uh, I'll just bring it up now. So you can see there's definitely some sort of figure in the background there in the undergrowth. Now. I am not quite sure what that is at all, but yeah, it's definitely something. Um, I might get in touch with someone, I don't know who, um, and yeah, see what they think. I might drop them in an email, see what they think, and yeah, we'll just go from there. But there was definitely some funny noises, that's for sure, and yeah, like I said, got that picture, it just, yeah, it's totally freaked me out. Anyway, right, so we've got to get on with our day. Um, yeah, I've I've been in touch with the, the dealership. Now, they have got some uh, bits and bobs they can do for us. So they've got a, a baler, a trailer, and a wrapper that they they can do for us. Uh, they're second hand, um, but um, yeah, they're, they're perfectly decent. Um, so yeah, we'll probably sort that out in a bit. I'll probably use the international for the bailing contract um, and I'm just going to have to make do with these uh, pallet forks just now because we haven't got any bail spikes but um, it'll do. Um, we've got um, we've got our, 
our new weight as well on there so that should be ample weight for for the tractor as well um i'm going to keep hold of the the little gray ferguson trailer just now uh, but i may well sell it and what i have decided i think we will get rid of this uh, but not this episode it'll probably be the next one so what i need to do is i just need to sort out the chickens as you saw at the start of the episode we got uh, a bunch more so uh, yeah we got uh, quite a few more chickens so just feed them top that up there we go how's that done for them chickens so we've got 84 so we've got quite a few new new births as well by the looks of it uh, had 70 odd so yeah it's definitely increasing which is nice um, that will do them for food for now what I might do is just get one of the egg cartons and just top that up put these eggs in there should go in there there we go and just put them in there out of the rain there we go shut the door they don't need cleaning out just now that's perfect and yeah I need to ride illusion as well so what we'll do we'll clean illusion out in fact grab illusion and uh, we'll just take him out of the paddock oh all right just put you there illusion better not run off he's pretty well behaved to be fair in fact yeah I'm gonna have to I'll just use this okay all right so I just need to will it fit that's the question these big double wheels or oh, just about back on top there over here and I'll take illusion for a quick quick canter about okay fantastic so we're just coming into town and into the dealership so we'll just hang a left here and yeah we'll head into the stores so this it is 20 past 12 I um, just a little bit further on than I thought it would be uh, I've just come in onto a, a new session so I saved and then I've come back and yeah I went to because I was going to get some cattle today I was going to get some cows and I went down to my barn uh, and all my small bales have disappeared <laughs> now I was warned that um, they do disappear if you uh, don't if you remove the baler from from your list of mods um, but I still have it installed and it's still on this map so I don't know what's gone on there so I've lost 48 bales which is a bit of a pain in the neck what I will probably do off camera is rebale everything or recut the grass and 
uh, bale everything again um, but I'm going to buy this new baler uh, and wrapper and trailer and I'll probably use them instead um, and I might well get rid of the small baler uh, which is a shame because I really really like it but never mind right so let's jump into here and we want to go across to baling technology so first thing we're going to do is get this so this is the John Deere 466 uh, $30,000 and yeah it does seven and a half thousand litre bales, so ideal. Um, so I'm going to buy one of them, and then the other thing I'm going to get is this, so I can get these used. So as you can see, there it is the Heston baler. It's it's in there. So I don't know what's gone on there. So we're going to buy one of these. I'm going to get it with black wrap main colour is going to be yellow, rim colour is going to be grey should I get it white? Oh. white metallic or just stainless? let's go for stainless, that looks pretty cool um, and then we'll just go for the trailer bogs, I think. That's got quite a good look to it. Spare wrap on it. US spec. Perfect. So it's gone up a little bit, but it's still pretty cheap. And then yeah, it's no, I think it's under low load as this. Um, so that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to go for the American Bandit. I love this trailer on FS17 and I still love it. Uh, it's a great trailer for the price. I'm going to go for Hardy Red, I think. Go for the low hitch. Perfect. There we go. So that's our bailing setup. Cost us forty-two thousand three hundred and twenty. But yeah, it should have some lastability on this as well. So jump in. And what I'll probably do off camera is sell the other baler um, at some point. Um, and yeah, I think this should work quite well for the contract. I should get a should get a few bales on this as well. Now the question is, will it all fit on this trailer? I'll leave that there. We'll take this up and then we'll, we'll come back for the baler. Right. See you up at the field and we'll start this contract. Fantastic. So here we go. Just coming up to the field. I've got, uh, got the baler on the back. Uh, obviously it doesn't need a PTO so that's fine. So I'm just going to park this over here. I've already brought the other two bits up here. So I'll just stop there. So sorted. And I've obviously got the international up here ready to go. So I, I put the front loader on there and the, the forks. So that should do the job. Now it's quite hard to see the field boundary on here but I think I've lined it up just about right. So what we need to do is get that lowered on. Like that. Get 
that one on. And away we go. So, it's going to take us quite a while to get this done. Um, I've only got small equipment, so... But, yeah, we should get through it. And like I said before, um, once this contract's done, I'm probably going to keep the bales for this now um, in readiness for cows. And then we'll also do some baling of our own on our own fields to get that all sorted as well. So, yeah, we will do our best. Um, given the situation now that we don't have any bales, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, at least we still have the silage, that's the main thing. Yeah, we do have silage still, uh, loose. But yeah, I had no way of baling, making silage bales as it was, so like I said, we'll get rid, probably get rid of that small baler, which is a shame, because yeah, I really, really liked using it. We'll bail up as much of this field as we possibly can. So, got a long way to go, but we will get there in the end. So I'm going to try and get in touch with someone about this uh, this potential Yeti sighting or Bigfoot sighting. I think uh, we'll have to I'll have to do some digging, see if there's anyone within sort of this area that deals with it. If not, I might need to go a little bit further afield. Bounds there. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully get to the bottom of it next episode. Fingers crossed. But yeah, it certainly did freak me out that. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So I'm going to continue on with this. I will get it all done. And next episode you will see us uh, hopefully with some silage bales and hopefully ready for cows as well. I haven't got a great deal of field work to do at the moment, it's all kind of on top of, um, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, it's been a bit of a transitional episode this unfortunately, but I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot. Um, and yeah, if you want to sh share or um, share any of these videos or comment, you can do that too and I will get back to you as soon as I can but until next time in Indiana for some more farming fun take care of yourselves and all the best